Today's vlog starts off with a podcast interview. Just before that, I dropped my phone. I should have been recording too. Like, it's always fun to show when the phone drops. I mean, not fun. I think it, it sucks that it happens, but I think it's entertaining because uh, it happens so frequently when you use your phone as your primary vlogging tool. But essentially, having others at the forefront of what it is that you're trying to accomplish. If what you're doing is all about you, you will stop uh, striving. If you're focused on others, the amount of people that you can help between 500,000 and a million or between a million and two or two or four, huge difference. If you don't have others at the forefront, you will, you will stop before your potential. Somebody broke the park bench. Weird. Anyway, podcast interview was really good today. I say a lot of them are really good. This one was really good. Uh, just a lot of good feels. I really enjoyed the conversation, and he's such a great guy. So, looking forward to putting that one out there for everyone to listen. It's it's excellent. Uh, gonna go move along with the vlog, and that means daily backflip. I keep on saying that I'm gonna try and keep these vlogs short and then for me like I, a good vlog link for like this channel daily vlog is like anywhere from one to three minutes and then I say short it ends up being like four or five like average so hopefully this one keeps to that like get it done kind of time limit. I want to talk about uh, something that Joe said during the podcast interview today and that's gonna go up in seven weeks again so it's got a while before it's actually gonna air. He said that to put others at the forefront of what you're trying to accomplish and I love the way that he worded that. It doesn't refer specifically to business. Uh, it could apply to anybody. If you have a goal of some kind in life to put others first. If you have like your own interests at the core of what you're trying to do, as soon as you accomplish that goal, you're done. For instance, if your goal is to, like if you're in business and you just wanna make money, then once you get that goal, like you're done. You won't strive to do any more. You won't live up to your full potential. If you're working a career and your goal is to have a certain income level and then once you reach that goal and you get comfortable like you're done the idea is that people have so much potential inside of them to do good for themselves for the people around them for the world and when your goal is only as far as yourself like you essentially you deprive the world of what you have to offer myself especially like back in the day like, i did not think that i was a gift to the world that i had anything to offer really if i make my goal something beyond just my own interest beyond what i want to accomplish then you can accomplish a lot more than what you believe that you can um, i actually was thinking it kind of reminds me actually like if you're if you're working out so anyone who like exercises maybe maybe you know this um, but like say you have a goal to do a certain number of pull-ups or push-ups or whatever it is if you set your goal to like say 10 pull-ups and then you get to like you, you're, you start getting up there and then you get close to 10 your body gets really tired and you're like oh man you know like you should be done right now just stop but if you want to do 10 pull-ups and you say no i'm going to do 20 you get to 10 and you're like i can still go like, I, I got this and then you get like further and further you, like you push past your limits i think mentally when we set our goals beyond what we think we can do it, it just stretches us out and like it makes us flex that um capability muscle or whatever you want to call it. I don't know, I'm really excited for the interview to go up. I, I do have a schedule for these, but you know, really excited. I'll probably do another episode about it on the day that it goes up for the vlog. And uh, yeah, yeah, all right. Um, thanks for watching. I'll go ahead and just end on maybe some, some drone footage or something. Anyway, catch you in the next one.